Kenneth Eugene Parnell, September 26, 1931, January 21, 2008, was an American convicted sex offender, child rapist, and kidnapper infamously known for perpetrating the abductions of seven-year-old Stephen Stainer and five-year-old Timothy White in Merced, California. He was convicted in 2004 for attempting to purchase a child for sex and died in prison. Early life Kenneth Parnell was born in Amarillo, Texas, to Cecil Frederick and Mary Oliver Pollard Parnell during the region's Dust Bowl era which coincided with the Great Depression. He later moved with his mother, his two half-sisters, and a half-brother to Bakersfield, California. Parnell was raised mostly without his father, who abandoned the family when Parnell was six. He spent much of his adolescence in and out of juvenile hall and mental institutions. In March 1951, Parnell was arrested for sodomizing a young boy and impersonating a police officer. He was sentenced to four years in prison. Parnell had lured the child through use of a deputy sheriff's badge he bought at an Army Navy surplus store. He escaped from a state institution in Norwalk, but was recaptured. In a 2000 interview about his 1951 crime, Parnell said he kidnapped and molested the boy because his wife was pregnant and that he had to find another outlet. He claimed to have been married three times, but only two records of his marriages are known. Parnell married in 1950, had a daughter in 1951, and divorced in 1957. Later that year he married again and had another daughter. Parnell denied in that same interview having been sexually abused himself, although Mike Eccles' book I Know My First Name is Stephen states that he was indeed molested at the age of 13 by a boarder in a rooming house that his mother owned in Bakersfield. More than a decade after the sodomy case, Parnell was convicted of armed robbery in Utah. While in prison for this charge, his second wife filed for divorce. Parnell claimed to have married the third and final time in 1968, but no records were ever found to substantiate this. Child abductions On December 4, 1972, Parnell abducted seven-year-old Merced resident Stephen Stainer with the help of Edward Irvin Murphy, a co-worker at the Yosemite Lodge, where Parnell worked as a night auditor. Stainer was taken to Kathy's Valley. Parnell's cabin was, unbeknownst to Stainer, located only several hundred feet from his maternal grandfather's residence. Parnell went on to tell Stainer that his parents couldn't afford to keep him anymore, that a judge had given Parnell legal custody of him, and that his new name was Dennis. Stainer lived as Parnell's son for seven years, during which he was repeatedly sexually abused. In addition to the molestation, Stainer later claimed that Parnell's attitude altered from severe beatings to sometimes spoiling him. As Stephen got older and entered puberty, Parnell's sexual interest in Stainer waned and Parnell sought a new boy to build his family. He had attempted another kidnapping with his mistress Barbara Mathias, but that failed to go to plan. He also conscripted Stainer into aiding him in kidnappings, but Stainer had always failed to grab the targeted child to the point Parnell stopped using Stainer as an accomplice, berating him for being an incompetent. Years later in interviews, Stainer admitted to intentionally sabotaging the kidnappings. Arrest on February 14, 1980, Parnell abducted five-year-old Timothy White from Ukiah with the help of Sean Perman, a minor and an acquaintance of Stainer. Weeks afterward, Stainer escaped Parnell's house with White. He later said he did not want the boy to suffer the abuse that he had endured. Stainer waited until Parnell had gone to his night shift job at a local motel on March 1, 1980 and, carrying White on his back, hitchhiked to Ukiah. Unfamiliar with the city, Stainer decided the best option was to seek out the local police, who originally considered him a delinquent, until an exhaustive search of missing child posters and a piecemeal interrogation confirmed he was a missing child as well. By daybreak the following morning, Parnell had been arrested. While investigators were checking into Parnell's past, the 1951 sodomy conviction came to light, although at the time Stainer insisted that Parnell had not sexually abused him. 
1981 trials Parnell was tried for kidnapping Stainer and White, but not for sexual abuse. He was convicted of both kidnappings and served five years of his seven-year prison sentence. Edward Murphy, Parnell's accomplice from the Stainer kidnapping, was sentenced to five years imprisonment and paroled after two years. Sean Perman, Stainer's school friend who abetted Parnell in the White kidnapping, was sentenced to a term in a juvenile work camp. Barbara Mathias, Parnell's girlfriend who lived with him in Stainer for some time, was never charged with any violation and cooperated with authorities in Parnell's trials. Stainer died in 1989 of injuries sustained in a motorcycle accident. 2004 convictions In January 2003, Parnell was arrested again after trying to coerce his caregiver into buying him a four-year-old boy. Parnell was, by this time, 71 years old and in ill health, suffering from diabetes and emphysema, plus other ailments brought on by a stroke that he had suffered earlier, requiring near 24-hour eight-day nursing care in his cluttered apartment in the 2600 block of Matthews Street in Berkeley. The caregiver, Diane Stevens, was aware of Parnell's past and cooperated with police in setting up a sting operation that would lead to his arrest. According to Diane Stevens' testimony, Parnell requested that the child have a clean rectum, indicating sexual intentions. He paid $100 for a birth certificate and had $400 on his person for the completion of the transaction when he was to receive the child on January 3, 2003. Parnell was arrested that day, subsequently telling authorities, I wanted a family. Parnell was convicted on February 9, 2004, on the charges of attempting to purchase a child and attempted child molestation, even though no child had been targeted. The prosecution successfully argued that sexual aids and pornography found in the apartment, along with Stephen's own testimony were enough to prove that Parnell's intentions were criminal in nature. Parnell was sentenced to 25 years to life under California's three strikes law. Prosecutor Tim Wellman had largely argued his case before the jury by showing a slideshow of Stainer marked 1, then of White marked 2, and a blank screen marked 3 to show the non-existent child that would have been abducted had police not been notified. Wellman said Parnell was looking for one last hurrah, one last Stephen Stainer, one last Timmy White. Death Parnell remained incarcerated until his death in 2008 at the California Medical Facility in Vacaville, California. According to prison officials, Parnell died of natural causes. He had been under hospice care for some time. Media adaptations Stainer's account of his time with Parnell formed the basis of a book by Mike Eccles, the manuscript of which was adapted as the 1989 TV miniseries I Know My First Name is Stephen with Arliss Howard in the uncredited role of Parnell. The book was published with the same title in 1991. The miniseries was also released under the alternate title The Missing Years. See also list of fugitives from justice who are no longer sought. References External links Abducted man posing pastor launched daring escape I know my first name is Stephen at IMDb.